with the most realistic footage of elephants, one of the largest animals today. These scenes were shot in several African and Asian countries. Besides, you can also enjoy the most romantic country music. It will help you relax like a peanut and the world of elephants on the savanna grasslands in Africa and Asia. of habitats across the African continent. Their range includes savannas, forests, and grasslands. There are two species of African elephants, the African bush elephant, Loxodonta africana, and the African forest elephant, Loxodonta cyclonus. African bush elephant, Loxodonta africana. These elephants are primarily found in savannas, grasslands, and open woodlands. They inhabit a wide range of ecosystems, from dense forests to more open areas. African Forest Elephant, Loxodonta cyclotus. As the name suggests, African forest elephants are adapted to live in dense forests. They are typically found in the dense tropical rainforests of Central and West Africa. Both species of African elephants have specific regional distributions within the continent, and their habitats can vary based on factors such as food availability, water sources, and climate conditions. The conservation status of African elephants has been a concern due to threats such as habitat loss, poaching for ivory, and human-wildlife conflict. Conservation efforts are ongoing to protect these majestic animals and their habitats. African elephants are herbivores, meaning they primarily consume plant-based foods. Their diet consists of a variety of vegetation, including grasses, leaves, bark, fruits, and roots. They are known to eat a large quantity of food each day to meet their nutritional needs. Types of plants can vary depending on the region and habitat. African elephants are adapted to forage for a wide range of plant materials in their natural environment. Their diet may also include tree branches and twigs, and they are capable of stripping bark from trees. Overall, the food of African elephants is diverse and reflects their ability to adapt to different ecosystems within their range. African elephants are known for their social behavior and typically live in herds, also referred to as groups or families. These herds are matriarchal, meaning they are led by a dominant female, often the oldest and most experienced elephant in the group. The matriarch is usually responsible for making decisions about the group's movements and activities. Elephant herds are of related females and their offspring, forming a close-knit social structure. Young males may also be part of the herd, but as they reach adolescence, they may start to become more independent. Adult male elephants, known as bulls, tend to lead more solitary lives, joining female herds only during the breeding season. While the social structure of elephants involves living in herds, there can be variations in group size and composition based on factors such as habitat, food availability, and the presence of potential threats. African elephants reproduce through sexual reproduction. The mating process involves a female elephant, known as a cow, and a male elephant, known as a bull. Here's an overview of the reproductive process in African elephants. Mating. Female elephants reach sexual maturity around the age of 10 to 12 years, while males mature a bit later, usually around 14 to 15 years. When a female is an estrus, in heat, she releases pheromones and displays certain behaviors to signal her receptiveness to mating. Bulls then compete for the opportunity to mate with her. Courtship and copulation. The courtship period can involve the male following the female, displaying various behaviors and 
sometimes engaging in physical interactions like nudging or touching. Once the female accepts a mate, copulation occurs. The copulation process is relatively short but can be repeated several times during the female's estrous cycle. Gestation. The gestation period for African elephants is the longest among land mammals, lasting approximately 22 months. This extended period is necessary for the development of both Elephants live in patriarchal societies. 
societies, led by the oldest and most experienced female in the group. The matriarch guides the group, making decisions about migration, foraging, and other activities. The knowledge and experience of older females are essential for the survival and well-being of the entire family. dynamics of the herd. Adult elephants use various methods to search for and obtain food. Their feeding habits depend on factors such as the species of elephant, the availability of food in their habitat, and local environmental conditions. However, some general patterns can be observed. Browsing and grazing. African elephants. These elephants are primarily grazers meaning they feed on grasses. They use their trunk to grasp and pull grasses, and their large molars are well suited for grinding tough vegetation. Asian elephants, while they do graze on grasses, they are also browsers, feeding on a variety of tree and shrub species. Their trunks are highly dexterous and can manipulate leaves, twigs, and other vegetation. Trunk usage. The elephant's trunk is a highly versatile appendage that plays a crucial role in their foraging. It is used for grasping, tearing, and bringing food to their mouths. Elephants can pick up small items like leaves or grab large branches with their trunks. Social learning. Young elephants often learn about suitable food sources from older, more experienced members of their herd. This social learning helps them adapt to their environment and make better choices when foraging. Water dependence. Elephants require a significant amount of water, and they often visit water sources
strategies for defending themselves against predators. Here are some ways elephants may fend off potential threats. Size and strength. Elephants are the largest land mammals, and their sheer size and strength act as a natural deterrent. Most predators would think twice before attempting to take on an adult elephant. Herding behavior. Elephants are social animals that often live in family groups led by a matriarch. This social structure provides them with the advantage of numbers when facing predators. A group of elephants, especially with protective mothers and older individuals, can effectively deter or fend off predators. Charging. When elephants feel threatened, they may charge at the potential threat. Charging involves running towards the threat with ears spread wide and trumpeting loudly. This behavior is often enough to intimidate predators and discourage them from pursuing a path. Trunk and tusks. An elephant's trunk and tusks are powerful weapons. They can use their trunks to push away or strike at predators. domesticated due to their size, intelligence, and social structure. Domesticating elephants involves a combination of training, socialization, and positive reinforcement. Here are the general steps involved in domesticating elephants. Selection of elephants. Young elephants are often chosen for domestication because they are more adaptable and easier to train than older ones. Elephants that show a calm temperament and a willingness to cooperate are preferred. Bonding with handlers. Building a strong bond between the elephant and its handlers, the hounds, is crucial. This is often initiated when the elephant is still a calf. Handlers spend time with the elephant, gaining its trust and forming a positive relationship. Positive reinforcement. Training is primarily based on positive reinforcement, rewarding desired behaviors with treats, praise, or other incentives. Punishment is generally avoided as it can lead to fear and aggression. Basic commands and skills. Training typically begins with basic commands such as stop, go, and turn. Elephants are gradually introduced to more complex tasks and skills as they become accustomed to the training process. Socialization. Elephants are social animals and they often live in groups in the wild. In captivity, they are usually introduced to other domesticated elephants to encourage social bonds and reduce stress. Working in pairs. Elephants are often trained to work in pairs, with an experienced elephant guiding a younger one. Working in pairs helps...
15,000 in 2016. However, this number can change due to various factors such as poaching and habitat loss. African elephants are distributed across various countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, with significant populations found in countries like Botswana, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Namibia, and others. Asian Elephants The Asian elephant population is estimated to be around 40,000 to 50,000 individuals. Asian elephants are found in various countries in South and Southeast Asia, including India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Myanmar, and others. It's important to note that these numbers are estimates, and the actual populations may vary. Additionally, conservation efforts are ongoing to protect elephants and their habitats, as they face threats such as poaching for ivory, habitat loss, and human-wildlife conflict. As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, India has the largest population of wild elephants. The country is home to a significant portion of the world's wild Asian elephant population. However, it's important.